Hey everyone, Matthew here. A few days ago, I received this large package in the mail. This is from Lulzbot, and this is going to be a TAS5 FDM 3D printer. So, let's open her up and see what we got. On the top of the package, we have this nice little handy book, Unpacking Your TAS 3D Printer. Unboxing instructions. <laughs> right there. Uh, also has the quick quick start setup. And continued on more setup. And then creating your first 3D print. First, let's get it out the box. And then remove the tool bag. Guy right here. We'll go over that in a little bit. Like so. Rotate it out like that. right there. So that's everything out of the box. Uh, let me grab the camera and we can get a close-up view of some of the uh, the other stuff here. I'm trying to figure out what it is. All right, looking at the main frame assembly. Uh, looks like it's got some nice extrusion. Got some 3D printed end pieces here. Uh, lots of 3D printed parts on it, which is pretty neat. Uh, over here, it looks like we've got the control box. Looks like we have a power input all that stuff. So there's a nice little uh, control system up here. I guess you can adjust your settings and tell it to print stuff and uh, all that good stuff. Over on this side looks like you got a little fold down that's for your uh, your plastic spool right there. Uh, so on the back side looks like we have the, uh, the plate carrier or the gantry and then the, the stepper motor. The, looks like the x-axis and down here is the separate motors for the, uh, the Z. Uh, this looks like it's going to be the y-axis plate. Uh, so it's going to travel back and forth like this. They've got a stepper motor right there, the controls. This is a heated bed and got the four corner uh, levelers there. And the top piece we moved over to the side. Looks like we get this Middle box of some sort is probably the, the power supply. Right there, nice little spot logo. We've got this looks like the extruder. Right there. Nice little cooling fan, stepper motor, and the extruder gear work. Right there. And all the plastic parts on here are 3D printed. Uh, they use the, the TAS 5s to 3D print this over at their factory. It's even got a little bitty little scroll cage fan right there to cool whatever that is, some sort of little heat sink. And in this box, let's see what we got. All right, got a USB cable, power cable. This is going to be the filament guide. It goes from the filament spool to the extruders right there. We have the 3D printed octopus, which I believe was actually printed on this particular machine. They assemble it, do a test print right here, and uh, take it all apart and uh, ship it out. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, filament there. Nice green. Some zip ties. Got a SD card. The all important Walsbot sticker. And last in the box, oh, you got two more zip ties, is the Walsbot TAS 5 user manual. I'm sure with plenty of good information in it. <laughs> and the last thing we have here 
is the toolkit. So let's see what we got in here. We got an X-Acto knife. Right there. We got a ooh, nice uh, Allen wrench set there. That's fancy. Uh, looks like we got some just some sort of little metal brush. Looks like some little forcep tweezers. And a little pokey all thing. I'm not quite sure what all these are used for. What else we got? We got a steel ruler. Oh, on this side, let's see what we got. A pair of uh, needle nose pliers. And the all important knife. <laughs> I'm assuming this is going to be for kind of cutting stuff off the bed there. So this is everything that comes with the Taz 5 from Lulzbot. Uh, now I'm going to mention that the kit does not come with any filament. Uh, so when I purchased this kit, I also purchased three, three spools of filament. And boxes like this. Vacuum packed and it's uh, three millimeter uh, thickness and I don't remember how many how long it is. But uh, so if you do buy a Lulz bot kit, just make sure to purchase some filament as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing built and we'll see about getting the first print done on it. Super easy to assemble. Uh, basically, there's four screws on the bottom rails here that you need to remove. You place the uh, heated bed platform on there and use the same four screws to hold it down. Uh, and then after that, it's just connecting some cables, uh, getting the bed level, and it should be ready to go. Uh, I've already printed a calibration test print, and it basically just kind of draws a line around the perimeter and like a little cross shape in the middle. Everything looked good, so uh, I think I'm ready to start uh, with an actual print, and we're going to print the, uh, the octopus there. Uh, and see how she comes out. So all of that video was shot a couple months ago when I first got the Taz 5. Everybody say hi to Isis. He's very curious what's going on in here. <laughs> so anyway, that video was shot a couple months ago when I first got the machine. Uh, I've been real, real busy with the new baby. Haven't had a whole lot of time for video editing or projects or anything like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I'm back and hopefully I have a little more time to do stuff. Uh, now the print on the octopus, it did have an error uh, about halfway through the print job. The PLA filament that I was using snapped. Uh, I was able to cram some more back in there real quick and uh, really didn't affect the part too much, just that one line. Um, to alleviate that problem in the future, I have added this little bracket I downloaded off of Thingverse. Uh, and that holds the tube, so it relieves a lot of the stress that's on the filament as the gantry moves around. Uh, I'll put a link to that part down in the description. I didn't design it, I just happened to do find it and download it and works real well. Uh, the only other thing that I did to the machine uh, was to add some LED strip lights up to the top there. A little toggle switch. Uh, helps my office is a little bit dark, uh, so it kind of helps show what's on the print bed and when I come and check on it. Uh, oh, and I also built a nice little tabletop. Uh, to put the machine on that sits on top of two filing cabinets uh, that's about it all in all I'm really really happy with the TAS 5 uh, I printed quite a few parts on it since I first got it uh, it prints really really well the resolution is really good uh, and in the near future here I'm going to be using some other materials besides PLA 
Uh, got some hips on order and some tea glass, which is a translucent material. Uh, so it's a whole lot of fun to use. It makes really, really good parts. So thanks for watching. And until next time, keep on building.